All right, I'm feeling better about buying these already. These are this is not sponsored. I went to Harbor Freight and picked this up. Brian's Mobile One. So these Icon Precision Snap Ring AP sets, 60 bucks, which seems like a lot if you're in Harbor Freight. It seems like their their motto is cheap or nothing. Uh, you can see that the printing's a little bit crappy on that. It's kind of run off. They're not lined up. No big deal. This is what they look like when you get in there. Can I get this in and out of here a hundred thousand times? The fun thing about buying something like this when it's a relatively new brand, it's a big jump in price, is usually they've got something to prove and something to lose if they don't make it in the market, which means that they make a good product, typically. I got them now before they lean on their name and cost cut them. These are the ones that I need for this job and we're going to try them out right now. This is the part that I'm working on and this is the brand new one. These little devils right here are a pain to get undone. So you have to get in there pretty far. See this copper color here? This is where we're working down inside there so you got a bit of a reach and confined space to get there. So we'll reach into the little bag of Ford and see if this will work. I actually did just buy the snap-on equivalent. I tried using the snap ring pliers I had and I got my butt handed to me. So I went out into town, I chased down the snap-on truck, I had stopped by Harbor Freight, I'd seen these other Icon ones and thought, nah, I don't want to mess around with this, I want to do it right. So I bought the snap-on ones, wishing I'd have done that a long time ago because this isn't my first rodeo with these Ford hubs. These work great. There's nothing wrong with these. These are the industry standard. You go to the Ford dealership. This is what the techs are using for this job. Yes, the snap ring is that hard. Uh, but here's what happens if you try the Icon ones. Okay, so that fits in there pretty snug. They do face outward, which every good external snap ring player should. Get them in there. It's going to fly across the room. Totally would have worked. For 60 bucks, I'd have been there. All right, I'm feeling better about buying these already. These are this is not sponsored. I went to Harbor Freight and picked this up. So anyway, does it work? This is <laughs> this is a really good indicator if it's a good snap ring plier or not. I mean, it's so easy for snap ring pliers to fail this test. What about the smaller set? This is way overkill. Can I break them? Will it work? Did they bend? They didn't bend. I bet I could get it off with even the smaller set. That's really, really good. Amazing. Final verdict. Icon snap ring pliers do not suck. They're actually decent, so let that be a lesson to you. So, does the blow mold case suck? No, it's actually pretty decent. These could be thicker. They're not terrible. This one doesn't latch as strong as it could. The print on it does suck a little bit. But as far as like the interface of getting them in and out, it's actually pretty decent. So let's go side by side, toe to toe, for snap ring pliers for the internal ones and compare it to snap on. Doesn't look apples to apples, does it? This one can be internal or external. You can unscrew it and re-screw it over. I'm just gonna leave it like this because that's how I'm gonna use it. That's low profile. I actually had to cut my other one down in order to get it to work. And it's got a spring on it. They kind of sit in place, but look how much those are enmity toward each other. It's like they look like siblings that have been fighting. They do not want to look at each other. They do not want to be in their same room together. They're out the other way. How are these? Decent. They're okay. These are aggressive. These really mean it. These are okay. Uh, the ones that I bought that were from uh, Gear Wrench, they were awful. They were pointing to each other. Um, what I did is I actually turned these around backwards so it's a thicker pin, so it's a little more heavy duty. There's no other way to put it. If you're going to spread a lot of these things, especially a heavy duty lock ring, it's going to try to slip out, especially in a Ford hub because they're all greased. And I tried to get that to spread and because they're pointed together, it just immediately slips out. On an external snap ring set, that is, that is like the one commandment that you do not screw up and they were screwing it up. But anyway, let's try the two and I'll tell you which one I like better. Let's see, how many are there? So there are eight. 
So if you do 60 divided by 8, what would that be? About 7 bucks each? Man, if you could buy these by themselves, that'd be amazing. And they're spring-loaded. So, all right, we'll try these. Which every but this is the go-to pair of pliers for these because it's in a, a back thing and you need to be able to really get them to slide down. So if you've got it right at the flush, like that, and then you squeeze it, what happens? What do we get? Let's get this out of the way so we can see against the white background. So see how it locks down? You see that one click in? Instead of falling off, they click in even better. So Anyway, I don't know if you see it in the camera, I'm like, because these are really hard. All right, let's do the same thing with these and see if I can find it across the garage when it falls off. All right, moment of truth. If the marketing manager for Icon Tools is watching, da -da 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 -da, drum roll, please. Fantastic, and it's actually... This actually feels better in my hand and doesn't hurt as much as this one does and I don't understand the ergonomics behind that until I put them up together and then I can see the fulcrum. I don't know, it's kind of in the same place. I don't get it. For whatever reason, this is more comfortable in my hand. I feel like I have better power with this one. And this is not sponsored. I've got no skin in the game. I don't understand it. Why? I don't get it. Okay, so these start out here, so they're further out. Maybe I'm opening it more. I don't know. But this will do the job. You need to know that if you're debating to buy this and you're working on this. So, Icon. You're doing terrific. Hey, Keith from Missouri. Thanks for the letter and thanks for the license plate from Japan. You got these swanky uh, Brian's Mobile One stickers. You got pistons and wings. I'll be sending some out. M. Carib's getting one. He is in West Virginia. And Max Hawley from Minnesota got one coming your way. Thanks for sending the envelopes and the kind notes. Appreciate it, guys. Bonus footage at the end. sticking out with the string and they use that string in order to get the alignment done. 